Hello, my kings, queens, and in-betweens. I'm Valerie, and this is the Bookish Valkyrie. Uh, today's video is about the uh, August releases that I'm excited about. I know it's a little bit late. Um, <laughs> it's the 9th, so a couple of these have already come out, and who knows, uh, maybe a couple more will have come out by the time this video uh, is posted. But uh, I'm still excited about these books, and I wanted to share that. So on August 1st, we had two uh, middle grade books released uh, that I've been pretty excited about since the beginning of the year. So not sure when I will be able to pick them up, but, but they are on the list. Um, first, there is Don't Want to Be Your Monster by Derek Moulton. It's a, a middle grade murder mystery fe featuring two Jewish brothers who happen to also be vampires. Um, and then the other book that released on the first is um, Tessa Miata is No Hero by Julie Abe. Uh, that one is a Japanese mythology based superhero story. So sounds a good time to me. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Okay, so several interruptions later. It is darker outside, so the lighting has changed and the position of the camera has changed. <laughs> um, First, the dogs decided that it was time to howl, and then uh, just as I was uh, starting to uh, talk about the August 15th books, um, my sister showed up. I knew she was coming over, but I managed to uh, lose track of the time, so had to pause for that. And now, uh, <laughs> back to this. So August 15th, the audiobook for Thornhedge by T. King Fisher will be available. Um, I did already see the uh, like hardcover copy available at Barnes & Noble um, in the uh, Come Window Shopping With Me video. Um, so I guess that's already available, but uh, I had pre-ordered it on audio, so that's when it drops is the 15th. Um, and that one is a, I, I, th I think it's supposed to be a take on um, Sleeping Beauty, but uh, Sleeping Beauty isn't the, is more, more of the like scene setting or the, the oh. plot, but not the main character. Uh, the, the first, uh, the first line in the synopsis um, is something like, um, there's a girl in the tower, but this isn't her story. Um, and it's supposed to follow somebody else. <laughs> so um, I'm really interested in that. Um, and then the uh, there is a rom-com dropping on the 15th as well. It's called My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine. Levine? Living, one of those. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it's supposed to be a lot of fun. It's been on my uh, on my radar since I think late last year. <laughs> Sorry, doggy interruptions. Uh, all right, so back to August 15th, there is also going to be um, a horror anthology by some various authors, one of which is actually a booktuber, uh, Joel from Fictional Fates. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the one that his short story is in. Um, but anyhow, it's called All These Sunken Souls, a Black Horror Anthology. And, um, yeah, I'm always here for the horror anthologies. I think that, that sometimes you find the best stories in a horror anthology because with a short story they just they have to get in get it done and they pack all of their punches at once and they don't have time to uh drag the story out needlessly so I I really love short versions of uh horror I love I love short horror um so anyhow that's everything for the 15th and then on August 22nd, um, 
Sarah McLean's Knockout is coming out. It's the third book in the Hell's Bells um, series. It's Imogen's book. And um, I, I'm pretty sure that her hero is the Bow Street Runner that you see, Tommy. You see him in the uh, previous things. Are you done chewing? Okay. Um, and it, and Imogen, I, you gotta love a girl who knows how to make things blow up. Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently she's the, the MacGyver of explosives. You can give her any three items and she will find a way to make them blow up. And I'm here for that story. I'm super here for that story. And then finally, um, on the 29th, uh, Vampires of El, uh, El Norte, yeah, El Norte, by Isabel Cañas is coming out. I have the hardcover edition already from um, Book of the Month, uh, but the official drop date for that is the 29th. And I have the uh, audiobook on pre-order for that as well. So I'm um, pretty excited for that. I really enjoyed her first book. Um, Uh, the Hacienda. Um, and uh, I, I'm guessing this one is also going to have a gothic sensibility to it. Uh, it's um, kind of got like a second chance romance in it. We'll see how, you know, how much of a romance it is, if there's gonna, any sort of happy ending at all. Um, but because, you know, technically it's a horror. But I'm I'm always here for mixing a little romance with the horror, which is why gothic is kind of my jam. Um, so, yeah, that is all of the uh, books that are coming out in August that I am excited about. Uh, if you have anything that you're excited about that I didn't talk about, go ahead and put that in the comments below. And uh, if you're excited about any of these and want to geek out about it, you can comment with that as well. And if you would like and subscribe, that'd be awesome too. You have a great day. So, uh, today's video, uh, the next set of, uh, is that everything?